Hey guys, so I went to two Dollar Trees today. The addiction is getting worse. I went to mainly, okay, let's start with yesterday. I added this picture to my Facebook fan page of these plates, bowls, and mugs that the Dollar Tree said that they got in stock. I previously on that photo had said that it would be really cute if you were just starting out in a new house or an apartment. They were turquoise and swirly and just adorable. They looked really nice. I haven't seen them in person. Like I said, I've only seen pictures of them online. Um, and I uploaded that to my fan page and said that it would be totally worth it to pay the shipping and handling and have to buy them in bulk to have them in your new house or if you want new dishes to have them as your new dishes. So. One of my friends from Jacksonville actually commented on it and said that she had saw them in the stores in Jacksonville. So I got all excited and I was like, I'm gonna go get me some and I'm gonna make like a stacked jewelry thing with them and it's gonna be gorgeous. And so anyhow, I went to the first Dollar Tree, they didn't have them. They hadn't restocked anything. Um, and then I went to another Dollar Tree that was a couple miles away and they didn't have them either. And the only other Dollar Tree is out by where I was yesterday when I was working and I don't feel like driving all the way out there so I'm probably gonna wait maybe tomorrow I could have another Dollar Tree haul within the very close future if I do go tomorrow but I'm just gonna go and start to show you guys what I did get from the first Dollar Tree I like how the lady crumpled this up um, but I got this tissue paper that's like gold white and has this pretty like thing on it I don't know Anyhow, um, I just thought this would be a cute kind of thing to wrap stuff up when people bought stuff off of me, off of Vinted. So I picked up this one. I picked up a silver one also, and the silver one has stars and then has like a silver one in this too. And the only thing about this is that the it only has eight sheets, and if you could just get the plain white ones, it comes with 40 sheets. So... I really just kind of keep getting the plain white ones even though they're not as cool. Um, for the plain white ones I thought that I could spice them up and when I was kind of folding them and to keep it shut I would put these cute little owl stickers on it. They had a bunch of really cute stickers um, but these ones were just kind of just cute and weren't childish. A lot of them were like Dora the Explorer and Spongebob so I thought these were nice and you get 120 with these and look how cute little owls. I picked up another foundation brush just because mine is getting disgusting and I use this one for under my eyes um, when I reapply a second layer of foundation as kind of like a concealer. Mine is getting disgusting. I don't feel like cleaning it. It was only a dollar so I just picked up another one so I can throw my other one out. My boyfriend decided to use my scissors while using fiberglass and resin and ruined them. So I bought a new pair of scissors because I actually needed a pair of scissors today and I had to like fold the paper back and forth and then rip it on the line. Not so great. So anyhow, I got a new pair of scissors for my desk. Bobby is running out of shampoo and conditioner, so I got him a different scent. I got the Ocean Mist and oh my gosh, it smells really good. It almost smells like apple. It smells fruity. It doesn't really smell like ocean, but anyhow, I got the shampoo and conditioner for him. I picked these up because I thought they were really different. Um, every time we go out to... Oh, I didn't even know there were different kinds. Okay, anyhow. Every time we go out to eat somewhere, if there's a gumball machine, Bobby tends to get gumballs. So I saw these over in like the Easter section. And they're by Double Bubble, so I know that they're good. And they're cotton candy flavored gumballs. So they have blue raspberry, cherry, and lemon, which I don't know how lemon cotton candy tastes. But I thought that was kind of cool. So I picked up these. I also picked myself up some gummy bears because I haven't had these in forever. And I know these are the really good ones. They're the H-A-R-I-B-O, Habro, maybe? And I felt like I scored with these. I didn't see these anywhere else. Um... They kind of quit doing the mason jar candles after the holidays. I found two of these and I picked them up. These are natural soy blend and they're vanilla bean scented and they're by Starlights. And instead of the round ones, which I think they were all round, if I remember correctly, the ones that I got during Christmas and the holidays were round, these ones are actually square. But the scent is so freaking strong, it's insane. So I picked up two of these because those were the only two they had left. And they only had them in the 
vanilla bean flavor and I don't know if because they're soy that makes them smell stronger or not but I thought that was pretty cool so I picked up two of those and that's it for my first bag my next bag I saw this and I just thought this would be cute to sit on my desk um basically it's kind of like the um what do you call those brain fart you put the seeds on their skull and then they grow like hair they have like shaggy they have other stuff so anyhow it's this little cute ceramic figurine and let me go ahead and take him out of the box because i kind of wanted to see what he looked like but i thought it was cute because it really looks like he's like just daydreaming you know he's just like sitting there and one of his legs up one's not so anyhow i guess you pull this and i hope it comes with stuff you're supposed to plant in there because i don't have any kind of grass stuff to plant so let's see blades of rye grass um i'm supposed to remove the label soak this whole thing up to two hours water and put it in the sunlight so i guess it's all already in his skull so that's pretty cool they had four different um like kinds you could choose from but i just thought this daydreamer one was kind of cute so i picked that up and these weren't in any place particular um they were kind of when you first walk in you know how they have those squares of uh, just random stuff it's usually like baseball cards and stuff like that really weird stuff it was over near those so it's not like on an aisle i noticed at both the places it was up near the front so i just thought that was really cute and different so i went ahead and picked that up tara love honey don't do that i picked up a candlestick holder and i also picked up this because i wanted to put it like this and maybe make like a terranium I think that's what it's called I wanted to get like a couple really cute you know flowery cactus for my desk that don't really need much watering but I just thought that was cute I saw this somewhere else on YouTube and when I do it I might make a video out of it just to kind of show you guys um but I thought that was cute I never really thought of turning the glass on its side to go like that but I don't know I just think it's adorable so I picked up that so that's everything I got from the first Dollar Tree now I'm going to move to the second do you ever buy something and you're like I have no idea why I bought that I have no idea what I'm going to do with it but I feel like I need it this was one of them so it's this jumbo sticker it's peel and stick think green clathylate free I don't know but anyhow it's these I think these are called orchids maybe but it comes with like a little pot and then the orchid stems on both sides so up here it shows that's kind of what it looks like once you put it all together I just really liked it I'm really not sure what I'm going to do with it yet or where I'm going to put it but I did buy that I bought this because I thought it was adorable it's a very like infant-esque in a weird way it's scrapbooking stuff but I bought it because it had a cute elephant on it and um, this was just over in the craft section and I didn't even notice but these say that they're handmade so that's pretty cute cool cool so they just have like a bunch of cute little different animals and a moon some stars so I don't know I just picked it up because I thought it was cute story of my life um i also picked up some of this iridescent um curling ribbon because i thought it would be cool to do like the jewelry that i sell off vinted like make it a cute little present with ribbon and stuff um i got this candle because i found this this totally does not look like the dollar tree just saying i thought this would look cute up on my desk it's just like at first i thought it was an oil burner and i was like oh that's really pretty um, but it's not. It's just like a little candle holder. So I bought one of the um, vanilla candles to put in it and burn. So I thought that would look cute up on my desk. I don't know. I should have bought another one. But then again, I don't need another one. Because I don't even know where I'm going to put this one yet on my desk. Because my desk is pretty full of stuff. Um, but I might take my tea bags down and put this over by the elephant. Because it's kind of like a tribalish, just pretty, I don't know. I think it would look nice with the elephant. My fourth bag 
I picked up this and it's a display easel. Um, I got it for my life plaque that I have behind me in all my videos that I got from Walmart. Right now I currently just have it kind of leaning up against the mirror, which I don't really mind. I don't know how much room this is going to take because it is kind of like slanted back. But I did pick it up anyhow because I figured I'll eventually need it for something and I never can find these. So I don't know, I thought it was a cool gold twisted metal looking plaque holder. I picked up this air freshener for my car. I'm going to go ahead and open it. It's supposedly lavender scented. I just got it because it was purple and a flower. Okay, that's actually really freaking strong. Wow. And it smells kind of good too. Mmm. It smells fresh, very strong, almost kind of smells like a disinfectant, but it clips onto your, um, your, what do you call those? The air vents? Yes, it clips onto your air vents, and I just thought it was cute. They had it in another color too. I didn't see that this was lavender scented. Um, I might have picked up the other one if I would have known because I'm not a huge fan of lavender. wasn't expecting it to be fragranced at all. I was just expecting it to look cute in my car, but that's actually really cool. This was also by the checkout. And then I just picked up some snacks. I picked up some Penny Stick brand um, pretzels. And these are just the stick pretzels because pretzels are delicious. You know, they're not super bad for you. So you can't really go wrong. You just have to be careful with the salt. So um, then I got these Flips White Fudge Pretzels. And these are like my all-time favorite. They're striped shortbread, fudge striped shortbread cookies. So that is everything that I got from the two Dollar Trees that I went to today. I really need to start a Dollar Tree AA because I feel like, I feel like we wouldn't help each other stop. We would probably tell each other about all the good deals and then go shopping together afterwards no help there so um I don't know how many of you have like an obsession with the Dollar Tree if you do you really should follow me on my Facebook fan page because I'm always posting stuff about the Dollar Tree there and I encourage you, if you see something at the Dollar Tree, to take a picture of it with your phone and then post it to my Facebook fan page so I can see all the good things and I don't have to just read about them in the comments. Um, my Facebook fan page is just gabangable. It's always linked down below in the description. And I will see you guys in my next video. And it might or might not be a Dollar Tree haul from for tomorrow. The obsession is real, you guys. Bye. Bye. <laughs>